Phoenix asks if I can replicate the plane effector text effects in MoGraph using animation nodes. Yes, I can. In my research, I saw that Cinema 4D's MoGraph uses a spherical thing to indicate the outer limits of the effect in the plane effector. So I used a an empty that is spherical so that I could simulate the same thing. Look at that. Oh, look. So if it's inside the sphere, the letter's already pretty much formed. Look at that. Wow, I'm faking the funk good. <laughs> so all that really is happening here is that if we view from the top, the letters are still there. They're just honking tiny. And they start by growing on the y-axis so that they can come into view. But they're real, real wide and really flat. So then they grow in height and shrink until they're not so honking fat. So they become letters. And how are we doing that? Well, the magic really is just the distance from the empty, which has been keyframed to go to the center where it encompasses all the letters, to each letter portion. Incidentally, the letters are just made from the add text that's right there in uh, Blender. And I added a bevel and I added some extrusion, then I converted it to a mesh. So really the letters I converted to a mesh, and then I also separated them, <laughs> and then added them to a group. And I also added the scent, made it so that they're origin to geometry of each piece. Okay, so that all had to be done too. You can see on some of my other videos, I think actually even my first video I did that with a group. But, so anyway, each portion of the, of the text in this case, this is a face. There's also a, a back and a tube-shaped thing that is part of the letter. If you wanted to, you can go through and join these so that they're one piece. I didn't do that. But all we're doing is measuring the distance from that empty to each part. We've got a viewer here to indicate how far it is. See how it starts way up here at 12. Let's just zoom right in here. Yeah? starts at 12 and it goes all the way down to 2 point something. So 2 point something is like the maximum value that shows in my viewer here. So I want to make sure that everything is in place by 3. So you'll see this one is finally in place at 4, this one's in place at 6, and this one is in place at 3. So this map range nodes node is basically mapping the value, the input value of six to five, and mapping mapping the output value of four to one. So pay no mind to it set, to the fact that it says minimum and max, and the let the here the six is actually going down to a four. Don't worry about that. The main point is is that it's mapping this to this, and this to this, and that's all there is to it. So ultimately our outputs, all three of these outputs on this vector end up being at one. So the scale value of one ends up being on all three axes. So that's the end point of it. So what I'm doing is I bring y into existence way out at seven and at six it's in existence fully. Then z or the x value starts to shrink from 5 to 1, because it's 5 times as wide as it should be, at starting at 6 and ending at 4, and then it grows in height on the z-axis from 5 to 3, from 0 to 1. So we get this effect here. Look at that. Pretty neat. Now, for extra credit, if we wanted to add a little bit of rotation, we will. What we're going to do is we're just going to add, whoopsie, we're going to duplicate this guy right here, and we want it to be fully complete from 4 to 3. And we are actually going to go to 0 because we want 0 rotation. We have to add a combine Euler. So we're going to say rotation, combine 
spoiler. And let us add this, this, this. And we'll add these guys into here. Right now, we're not using degrees, so we want it to go from the, from, say, one to zero. So I'll plug that guy into the y-axis because I want it to rotate based on my view here. And I'll put my distance into the value here. So you'll see it starts off and rotates into place. Look at that. So I've added one more effect. I can easily take it away too. So I've added, really I only had to click the y. So I've added one more port part of the effect and I could have rotated it on the Y, X. I can make it so that it falls into place where it's supposed to be or whatever I want. That's about all I was gonna say about that. Thank you for watching.